let's now talk about the export uh, market out there. How's the demand for tea? Um, how is it uh, all up there? Well, you know, as you as you mentioned right at, right at the beginning of your uh, um, segment, you know, demand for tea. I mean, look, tea is a five thousand year old beverage. You know, it's 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 second after mm -hmm. water. You know, the demand for tea is is you know is there. It's always been there, and I think and I think during during certainly what we've seen in company during a global mm -hmm. pandemic um, like we're going through at the moment, especially last year, last year March. Yeah. We've seen we've seen you know exponential sales growth in, in terms of our in terms of our website sales for people wanting to buy tea mm -hmm. because you know at times of crisis you know you go back to what you know and you know having a cup of tea you know the the, the term that we use here in the UK put the kettle on you know uh, we'll yeah. you know, let's have a cuppa you know there's something there's something warming about it you know there's something uh, mm -hmm. there's something uh, uh, you know comforting. When the rest mm -hmm. of the world, you know, is falling apart, you know, just having a cup of mm -hmm. tea and sharing it with, you know, the ones that you love, there's something very comforting. So, so the demand for tea certainly is there. Demand for certain segments of tea is certainly up. But you know, with, you know, how do you create demand for tea? I think, I think, I think demand for tea has always been there, I, and it and mm -hmm. it always will. This is a beverage that has gone, you know, five thousand years through, you know, recessions, depressions, pandemics. Uh, it's something that's that's held on very strong, you know. Uh, it'll. The demand I think. Always... I, I, yeah, I think that demand. When you say the demand is always there, what we've always seen, and even through advertisement, what has been advertised is how all these white people enjoy the Ceylon tea. Now, uh, how is the demand for Ceylon tea? In the in the UK, yeah. So look, if you if you take the the if you take the wider UK market predominantly. You know, today, mm -hmm. today, I think, I think, I think, Salon is going through. Uh, it, it's 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 going through a phase. You know, in the sense mm -hmm. that people, you know, you you have a generation of people who who know what Salon is. You know, outside of okay. Trinidad, you know the term yeah. Salon tea because they've seen Salon written on a map, and you have a new generation of consumer coming through who, when you say Salon to them, they're like, "Where is that?" Because they associate, <laughs> you know, uh, Sri Lanka with with the island. You know. Yeah. So, so, so you've got a bit of a gap there between 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 two generations. On mm -hmm. on on the wider scale, here in the UK, we drink predominantly tea bags, and today we, you know, most of the the tea bags that are sold, you know, uh, on the supermarket shelves, are from are from East African origin. So a lot of it's multi-origin blended, and a lot of it comes from East Africa. Very little you will find, you know, ac accessible on the supermarket from from Sri Lanka, unlike years unlike years ago. And that's partly yeah. because of you know market forces, and partly because of where of where brands have chosen to take uh, take 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 their tea. Where people know Sri Lanka tea is is really for quality, and this is where you know you've got a lot of consumers moving online to online retailers to go and buy quality tea. Whether they you know heard about it from a friend, whether they have experienced it in a restaurant, or whether they've even traveled to Sri Lanka and they have you know been to a plantation and they want to you know taste some of that tea again at home, um, you know the you know they are they are out seeking quality tea. And when it comes to buying quality tea, you know Sri Lanka Ceylon tea is right up there. You know, yeah, it really is yeah. right up there. So, so for the quality con conscious consumer, um, they are out seeking it. But for the wider consumer, there you know there needs to be a, a, a real marketing led strategy about about how we capture that 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 middle ground. You know that today you know drinks multi origin tea has no idea yeah. where their tea comes from. Um, and, and you know there there is a marketing piece to be to be done there for the middle, but for the yeah. quality con conscious consumer, very much Sri Lanka is Sri Lanka is there at the top of their mindset. That reminds me how people say like uh, Ceylon tea's quality is right up there, but Sri Lankans really don't get to enjoy that. <laughs> Only the foreigners get to enjoy the quality tea. Yeah, <laughs> is yeah, that absolutely. right? <laughs> yeah, absolutely, absolutely. If you look, if you look, you know, if you look, uh, what what we did, what we did as a company, you know, when you know we, we yeah. now buy tea to to hotels in Sri Lanka and for and uh -huh. and, and and for individuals there, but we actually. Okay. Pioneered the concept of, of doing single origin tea and sort of you know selling single estate teas outside of Sri Lanka first, and then brought it back to Sri Lanka. It's insane when you when you think about this. It became a, a success outside before it became a success internally. You know, uh, and, and that's partly due to due to you know uh, a, a long term you know way that we have treated tea in Sri Lanka. You know, we have we have always produced the best and we've sent it out to 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 the export market. 
you know, and, yeah. and what we've always had in Sri Lanka has been, you know, the dregs of what we couldn't export, you know, and if you, and if you were yeah. lucky enough to drink quality tea, it's because you either worked in the tea sector in plantations or in broking or in, or uh -huh. in, or, or, or in <laughs> exports, or you had a friend or a family member who could get you some good tea from, from an estate, you know, but yeah. generally what has happened, sadly, you know, for the majority of our history is that we, we as Sri Lankans have drunk the tea that we that, that wasn't good enough to export to most places but thankfully that's 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 now changing you know if you if you look around if you look around sri lanka now like you know i think sri lankans are becoming much more aware of of what of, of what we produce and there is becoming you know the the, the, the you know the quality level of, of tea that you can find in sri lanka is certainly getting better yeah. you know and i think as time goes on you know a lot of those export grades and and, and those export variants that that you find outside of sri lanka will also be available in, 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 in Sri Lanka, actually. In Sri Lanka itself, yeah. I have a doubt that I have really tasted the quality. Um, <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, it's, it's, it's actually a very interesting point that you make. So, like, one thing, one thing that, that, that we've done in company is that we've always said, look, if you, if you were to drink a cup of PMDT, whether it be mm -hmm. in Candy, whether it be, you know, um, up in Edinburgh, you know, or whether it be up in France, you know, you should be tasting the same quality of tea. We can't tell mm -hmm. you, like, you know, look, I'm drinking our, our plant is green tea. The same green tea that you would, if you were to buy leaf form in London, whether it be in, in, in Colombo, it must be the same. You can't brand something mm -hmm. the same and give a different product to, 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 a, to another market, mm -hmm. you know? Um, well said, so, yeah. So, so one thing that we have done in company is that if you're, if you're buying in, in Sri Lanka, it's the same export quality tea that we that we provide, you know, here off our website or or anywhere else. You know, there there has to be okay. consistency, and sadly, there's been consistency in packaging, in the local mm -hmm. market, but there hasn't been consistency in in the product. You know, mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. and that comes down to price point. But I think if you if you if you educate local consumers into what they're buying and they and they taste the difference, people will people will, you know, I mean, look, the market decides, right? The market decides mm -hmm. the price mm -hmm. of your tea. Um, yeah. I, I, I'm a firm believer that, that people will come and people will, will, will enjoy that product. Yeah, I think just like you mentioned before, we are getting there. And I have witnessed myself when you go to a tea store, how Sri Lankans come there and actually check for the flavors. And this is not something which was there back then, right? People would just go to the supermarket and buy like whatever they feel like buying. But now people are very conscious when they choose um, what Absolutely. to buy. And it's the value for quality they look for it's the it's the it's the market it's the market realizing i mean like you know 10 years ago uh, you know let's say yeah. let's say 2010 in 2011 in sri lanka it it, it, it wasn't the case you know uh yeah, 10 years yeah. later it's very different i think part of that has to do with look you know we're on a we're on a we're on a social media platform where anyone can sort of access and see well mm -hmm. how come people in london are getting better salon tea than i'm getting you know, mm -hmm. when I'm living in, 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 let's say, Candy, for example, you know, yeah. um, and, and it's the local consumer, you know, demanding, demanding better of, of what's available in the market, you know.